Welcome to the Teleblog channel. It's no secret that the Telegram messaging app is fast, private and has a convenient interface. And almost each month it makes us happy with its fresh updates and new amazing features that most other messengers don't have. Not only is it a means of communication, but also a source of instant news about everything that is happening in the world today. So it causes great inconvenience when, out of the blue, for some reason, Telegram isn't working. Let's say you have an important call and you can't connect, I mean, there's no connection, or you can't even install the app on your device and it won't work. In a second, I'm gonna tell you why Telegram might not be working, give you the possible reasons and tips on how to act in such a situation. But before that, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to make sure you get new videos first. So, suppose you turned your device on and started the app, but Telegram isn't working properly or can't connect. What could be wrong? The first thing you should do is eliminate any possible issues on your side. You can do this by rebooting your device, checking if you have an internet connection or trying to access another internet-based application. If there is no internet connection, try rebooting your internet router or checking your account, so problem number one could be no internet connection. Suppose the internet connection is fine and rebooting your device and Telegram didn't solve the problem. In that case, Check if you have the latest version of the operating system on your device and its compatibility with the Telegram version you chose. For instance, Windows 10 requires a special desktop version of Telegram. Besides, Telegram doesn't support its software for some outdated versions of Android. A good indicator that there is a software conflict is if the Telegram app is running, but you can't scroll through the chats. If the installed app doesn't load or doesn't go beyond the welcome screen, there may be a program error in the app. As a possible solution, you can reinstall the app by downloading it from the official website. By the way, if you missed this in one of my videos on the channel, I'm talking about the importance of installing the Telegram app from the official website or the official stores of mobile operating systems. Why is it crucial? Find the link in the description box. If you're using a desktop version, it's also possible that the problem is on your part and not in Telegrams. It could be your antivirus. Make sure that your antivirus doesn't block the Telegram app. If, despite all the measures described above, you still didn't manage to get the app to work properly and you need to access Telegram right away, you can try Telegram Web, the browser version of the app. You can access it by clicking the link and I will also leave it in the description box. It's important that you check the URL that you use to access the web version of Telegram. It must be web.telegram.org and no other. All the other websites are phishing websites that can steal your data. Pay attention to that. You may have heard about how in Darknet they leaked the data of millions of Telegram users. The Messenger Press Service reported that almost 70% of the accounts are owned by users from Iran and 30% are from Russia. At the same time, Telegram stressed that most of the accounts are no longer valid. Now, do you know why this data was leaked and how it was obtained? It was because users were using an unofficial web version of Telegram, and so their data got leaked. So be careful, guys. The advantage of the Telegram web version is not only that it's easy to use, but also that the web version itself is not exposed to those problems that a regular version of Telegram may have. To use it, simply go to the website and follow the instructions. Telegram web works well with the most common browsers like Mozilla, Google Chrome, Opera and Yandex browsers. If Telegram isn't working because you're in the countries where the app is blocked, then use VPN or proxy servers to get past it. If all of the problems described above are eliminated, we can assume a more global problem. It means bugs in Telegram itself. From time to time, the app is subject to global disruptions that affect entire regions and countries. This issue can last from hours to days. During this period, Telegram either doesn't load at all or users experience constant difficulties with connection. 
You can track all the global Telegram issues on special websites. For example, you can check out this resource. I'll leave the link in the description box too. In case of a global malfunction, there's nothing you can do really. We have to wait for the Telegram team to solve the problem. They usually manage to do it very quickly. There are various reasons why everyone wouldn't be able to access Telegram. It's DDoS, tax, software bugs, and even quite physical reasons like a power cut to Telegram servers in one of the key regions on the planet. What you have to do is just take it calmly, as no human-made device is immune from failures. But the Telegram team always makes their best to fix any problems that arise. And remember, there are no problems that can't be solved. And if you've tried everything and Telegram still won't work, you can always text the support team and share your problem. You can do this either via the messenger on your device or by using the browser version. Did you find the video useful? Give it a thumbs up, please. I appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. It's the Telebloke channel. Subscribe and be trendy.